All right, so we have an RTD here. So in the box, you're gonna get your quick start guide. You'll get a USB drive, a lanyard, your USB cable, and down here under everything, we'll have the actual RTD. So what I'm gonna do with this, and your quick start guide goes through basically all of this. Tells you where to go to download software, create an account, how to purchase credits. Um, if somebody's doing their remote tune, generally you won't have to handle the purchasing credits part. That'll be covered by the tuner. So let me just put this in here just to show you what's on here. So it has the setup and your software on the USB drive. Uh, you can go to the website hptuners.com and get the most updated and current versions of this. Um, it's generally going to be an older one on here. Another good thing to do is to save all your tunes to this and put it in a glove box in case the ECU ever goes bad or you have any kind of issue with it losing the tune. Um, or if you just want to send somebody a tuner vision and uh, not have to actually hook up to the car. So, get this thing out of here. So, to use this thing, what we'll do is we'll get the RTD and our cable. I'll come in here. Plug this in thing into the car. Put this into a laptop. So, I'm gonna come in there, plug our RTD in, plug it up to our laptop, and we're gonna turn the key on, engine off. I'm going to come to the software, RTD software that you'll download. Let's open it up. So as soon as you open it up, you'll notice there's not a whole lot you can do. So you're going to find this little ECU logo with the green arrow. It says read vehicle. You're going to double click it. It's going to bring up this. And you're going to click read. Okay. At this point, it's going to read the factory configuration in ECU. Whatever's in there, it's going to read it, save it, and uh, it'll let us name it whatever we want to name it. Give us access to edit it. It says it's going to take two and a half minutes. Generally, they take anywhere from two minutes to ten minutes, depending on what the car is equipped with. Okay, so now that it's saved, come in here, we're gonna name it, what year is this car? 2012 Mustang. So basically I just name on what the car is, what we're doing to it, which this car's getting a Vortec, Doc Reed, and then the customer's name. So, and then it's going to get saved as a remote tune device, and it's saved. So at that point, from the end user standpoint, not a tuner standpoint, you're basically done with this software. Once you get a tune back, and we can actually, I can actually go through this and show you. So say you did that, you sent me the tune, and now I've done the tune for you, emailed it back to you, and you're ready to load the tune. So all you would do go here and go right vehicle and show license options this is where I'll have the I'll have already paid for these tokens or the tuner would have already paid for these tokens so you won't have to do this particular part say okay 
and it'll write the vehicle and go through the, it usually takes about five minutes to write the vehicle. But um, another cool thing you can do with this RTD is this VCM scanner software. And again, it's on the it's on the jump drive, and you can get it at HP Tuners um, under their downloads. But means we have the key on in this car, we can go to connect vehicle. It'll take it just a minute. It'll connect to the car. Hit start scanning. And it gives you all the data. Of course, the car isn't running, so there's not much data really to see. But it gives you, you know, the year, make, model, the VIN number. And it just gives you a ton of data, fuel flow rate, you know, drive shaft RPM, idle position, idle commanded, idle desired, mass airflow, engine coolant temp, oil coolant temp, exhaust temperature. I mean, just, just tons of data. Here you have your gauge cluster. You can customize this to show whatever you want to show. Graphs for spark advance, spark retard, you know, O2 sensors, math. I mean, just tons of stuff. All your charts. You can resize all this stuff. I mean, don't be a, you, you can't affect really anything with the car for any of this. So, you know, you can kind of get in here and play with it and look at whatever you want to look at. You can create channels. disconnect you can come in here and say you you're trying to diagnose the speedometer issue and you want to know if you know wheel speed matches what the computer's seeing matches what the odometer says you can come in here and then you just add all that and it'll give you all that data so it's a cool tool to have it really gives you a lot of freedom if you don't have a actual scanner to scan a vehicle but uh, and that's for the most part. Now, if I ask, if we ask for a data log um, of the vehicle for the tune purposes, so you're gonna connect to the vehicle, you'll crank it up, and you'll just hit start scanning and go through it. Generally, we'll ask for a couple minutes idle time, a 3000 RPM pull, whatever. And then when you're done, you get back, you just hit stop scanning and come in here and save file as, and just say, you know, data log one, Vicky V. And then you can send that to me, and uh, that just lets us look at it and make sure everything's kosher with the tune. It's a big help to be able to do all that with this software. But uh, for the most part, other than downloading these two, which is super, you know, super simple. You just go in there and download them, add them to your desktop, add them to your taskbar. But uh, other than that, I mean, it's really easy to work with. If you have any questions, you can email us. And uh, they work really good. So that's the RTD. And we also sell the MPVIs if uh, guys are interested in trying to learn how to tune themselves. But uh, that's it.